What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the Testo 405i hot wire anemometer. As you can see I already have it turned on, synced up, and we are looking at the app dealing with a round duck right here. This duck is 14 inch round and this system is a 3 ton so it's a little little iffy on the, uh, the duck but we will see what uh, the 405i tells us but basically what we're going to do is just like the 410i we're going to go down to configuration configure measurement I've already got everything entered in here but we're doing a timed average round duck 14 inch diameter and that is supply air also if you don't know the size of your duck this 405i also has measurements all the way down it so you'll be able to insert it into the duck market and you'll be able to tell what size duck you have so this is a 14 it's on a three ton so we're going to go ahead since we got all our information we're going to hit ok and we are ready to read so basically what we're going to do is same thing you can play and pause by hitting the power button so basically what we're going to do is we're going to angle this opening so it's in the path so basically if you're looking at the meter it's going to be like this in the duck our blower is this way so basically you're going to be getting the best numbers best readings with the meter this way versus this way so basically what you're going to do is you're going to insert this down into the duck all the way to the bottom and once you're at the bottom and you're ready to go you're going to hit play and you're going to slowly and consistently draw the 405i back out of the duck. Once you get to the top of the duck, you're going to hit pause on the button and that's going to be how you take your reading. Once you do that, we'll do that about four times and uh, we'll see what kind of readings we get. But I'll go ahead and do the first one on video, but all the way to the bottom of the duck. And then basically you're just going to hit play and you're going to slowly and consistently remove the 405 eye from the duck and this is just called a time traverse basically once you get to the end you're gonna hit stop and we're gonna go down here and now you can see our stop icon hopefully the screens not focusing very well but we'll hit our stop icon and this is our first reading 1134 CFM 55 degrees 1061 feet per minute so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this I'm gonna do three more and uh, we'll see what our average is all right again I apologize if the light is bad but I'm actually on a job um, performing this on a maintenance so hopefully you can see everything but these are our numbers again this is a three ton system with a 14 inch supply it's a little on the small side but you can see our numbers we're shooting for 400 CFM per ton, so we're looking for about 1,200, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with those numbers. You can go here and see our supply temperatures, see our feet per minute, and supply air, and that's usually what I do is just do four, four passes, four different traverses, so you kind of get an average, because every once in a while you'll have a quirky one now and then if you don't do something correctly or or just in a bad spot so it's good to just do a uh, a timed average and also do it a few times just to make sure you got uh, got the right information so that is how to use the testo 405i hot wire anemometer i hope this helps for the people that were looking for this video thanks for watching like comment subscribe and we will see you on the next one